here for the Special Olympics North America Golf Invitational for the first time here on Hilton Head Island, where 220 golfers are participating from 19 states and Canada. And we're here with Amy Dugan, who's the director of the Special Olympics North America operations. So thank you for joining us today. We're excited to have this event here on Hilton Head Island. Tell us a little bit about the Special Olympics and how the golf fits into that. Great. So for those who don't know Special Olympics, you might know the name, but a lot of people don't know what we do. We're a global year-round organization that provides sports training and competition opportunities to children and adults mm -hmm. who have been diagnosed with an intellectual disability. And at the end of the day, we use sports as a vehicle to create more inclusive societies. Sports has always been the vehicle since we began in 1968, when we were founded by Eunice Kennedy Shriver, as a way to not only provide our athletes with increased self-esteem, increased skills that hopefully will carry over into their lives off the playing field, off the course, off the court, um, and make them more empowered individuals and really set an example for society that everybody has something to contribute. As we all know, we got a beautiful chamber day. Prior to this, though, we did have some uh, opportunities, as they would say, with Mother Nature. But Charlie and his team uh, tackled uh, heavy amounts of rain just before the event and uh, really got the golf course in uh, proper condition for these 200-plus uh, athletes. I'm really fortunate to have a, a fantastic team of seasoned veterans that pulled this event together, working with Special Olympics. Uh, their site visit was in June, so we had less than 90 days to prepare. So the golf shop team led by Ben Smith, uh, Ann and uh, Eric in the kitchen and food and beverage area really have pulled this together to host uh, two 400 plus dinners for these athletes, mm -hmm. a dance last night, and really just a tremendous team effort. So I'm behind the scenes, I'm not going to take any credit, and I just had a fantastic team that pulled all this together this week. We're here now with Doug Weaver, our local PGA Pro Tour, and we are joined by some of the winners here. Doug. I would like to for you to share the experience that you've had working with these awesome athletes this week. Well, it's uh, so exciting and so fulfilling, <laughs> so satisfying. I hope everybody gets involved in the future. But Steve is a great story, and he just won a bronze medal. All right, Kayana, what'd you win? Silver. Silver. Bronze. Bronze, and Christopher's on his way to winning something, too. We're waiting on his results. but. These, this, these folks have worked so hard through Area 8 Special Olympics and Kathy Kramer and Julie Harrison. They show up at Palmetto Dunes. They work hard. They practice three days a week. Have you enjoyed it? Woo! <laughs> that was unplanned. I mean, and they, they came here to compete with over 200 other athletes, and they've, they've achieve success. I don't know what else to say. Well, I think you said it all, Doug. So reporting here from the Port Royal Golf Club at the Special Olympics Tournament, back to you in the studio.